you can draw her and procreate. During this tutorial, I will show you how you can create this manga style character. And don't worry, you don't need any experience with drawing or with Procreate at all. I will guide you through every single step. And we'll be using free brushes only, brushes that are already in the Procreate app and some brushes that you can find through Free From Flow. If you sign up through Free From Flow, which is totally free, you'll get loads of brushes, color palettes, and my ebook about color theory. And before we get started, if you are enjoying these tutorials, if you want me to create more, and if you want to support this channel, then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, of course. And if you want to do even more, then you can go to my Patreon page. If you join the community there, you'll get loads of brushes and you'll get to watch more Procreate video tutorials. But now let's move to this tutorial. Don't forget that once you have followed all the steps, once you have reached the end of the video, to share your work online. If you share it on Instagram, then don't forget to tag me in the image, not just in the description. That way I will be able to find your work and perhaps we'll see it in the next video. And now it's time to get started. First of all, the canvas. It's 2,300 pixels by 3,000 pixels. And I have my color profile set to sRGB. And of course, I have created a color palette for you in case you want to use the same colors as I'm using during this tutorial. You can download it for free through the link in the description. The first thing we'll do is set a background color. We'll go to the layer menu over here and then click background color and we'll pick this first color over here. Then we'll move to layer one and for our color, we'll pick this color for now. And for our brush, we will use the monoline brush and we are going to draw a circle. I have the opacity of my brush set to 100% and the size is at 25%. Now let's draw a circle, hold your pen in place and tap one finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle and then drag in the color to fill the shape. Now click the arrow here at the top, go to snapping, turn snapping on, and magnetics off. Now you can move your circle around and if you see that vertical orange line, then you'll know that your little circle is in the center of your canvas. Next, we are going to turn on the symmetry tool. We'll go to the wrench over here, then to canvas, then to drawing guide, and then we'll click edit drawing guide. And here at the bottom, we will turn on symmetry. And here at the top, you can pick your favorite color in case you want to change it. I'll set it to a nice pink, then click done. And now whatever we paint on the left side will end up on the right side as well. But also whatever we liquefy on the left side will also liquefy on the right side. And that's what we want because we are going to use the liquefy tool. To do that, you need to go to the magic wand here and then to liquefy and make sure that you set it to push and that you have distortion and momentum turned off. I have my pressure set to max and you can play around with the size of your brush. It's at 50% right now. And let's push at the bottom and push on the sides. We are going to make some cheeks over here and you can keep the top part nice and rounded. And here, this is the area where, where we'll have a little chin. Next, we are going to add eyes. Let's go back to the layer menu and click the plus for a new layer. I want symmetry to be turned on on this layer as well. And what we need to do is click the layer and turn on drawing assist. Now you can see this layer is assisted and that means that symmetry is turned on. We'll still be using the monoline brush, but we'll switch to this color over here, that first color in the second line. And let's draw a circle. Hold your pen in place and hold your finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle and then click edit shape here at the top. Now you can move it around, make your character dizzy and let's place it nice and low around here. Then we'll drag in a color to fill these two circles. Next, we will use the liquify tool again. So we'll go to the magic wand, click liquify, and we are going to push the bottom of the eyes a little bit 
and the sides, changing the shape of the eye a little bit. Make the brush a little bit smaller, let's say 35%. And the liquify tool gives you full control. Sometimes it's easier to liquefy something than to draw something. You can just push and pull until you have a shape that looks like this. Now let's add a little shading to these eyes. We'll turn on alpha lock on this layer, click the layer, turn on alpha lock. And now when we paint on this layer, it'll only show up on these eyes. For the brush, we are going to the airbrushing brushes and use the soft brush. And for the color, we will pick this grayish color over here. I have the opacity of the brush set to 80% and let's set the size to 10%. And now let's glaze over the top area of the eyes, leaving the bottom part light and just darkening the top area. Next, let's add the irises. We'll do that on a separate layer, so we'll click the plus again and we'll want symmetry turned on again. So click the layer and turn on drawing assist. For the color, we are going to use this color over here. And for the brush, we will go back to the monoline brush. Again, just draw a circle, hold your pen in place, and then go to edit shape. I can move these handles to change the shape of the iris a bit. I want a little bit of the white of the eye visible on the right and on the left. And once you've got that, you can drag in the color to fill the shape. And again, you can go to the liquify tool to push and pull some of the parts of the eye, well, of the iris in this case. Make sure that it's not overlapping that bottom part of the eye. So once you got something like this, it's perfect. Now let's change the color of the face. This is just a temporary color. Let's go to layer one and pick this light color over here and drag it onto the shape. I used a darker shape before just for visibility purposes. Now let's continue working on the eye. We are going to make a layer on top of the iris layer, layer three. So click the plus for a new layer and set this layer to clipping mask. Now, whatever we paint here, it'll only show up on layer three on these circles. And we are going to change the layer blending mode. Click the N and scroll up until you see multiply. And let's also turn on symmetry. So click the layer and turn on drawing assist. And for the brush, we are going back to the airbrushing brushes and use the soft brush. And for the color, let's use this color over here. And now we will go over the top area, darkening it. So the higher you go, the darker the area should be. That's because the light is usually coming from above and that upper eyelid, it'll cast a shadow onto the eye. So usually the top part of an eye is darker than the lower part. Now let's make our brush a little bit smaller. Let's go for 4% and let's go over these edges a bit, making that darker as well. Don't go to the bottom, just the sides. And now we are going to add a pupil. Let's make the brush even smaller. I'll go for 2% and we are just going to make a line. This girl is like a cat girl. So she has these, these lines for pupils. So just make multiple strokes on top of each other until you have something that looks like this. I feel like we can make the top part even darker. Let's use this color as well in the color palette an even darker blue. We'll make the brush a bit bigger again, 4%. And we'll just go over the top here, making that slightly darker. Now it's time to add some light effects. We'll make a new layer again by clicking the plus and we will turn on clipping mask. So this shape, whatever we paint on it, it'll only show up on these, these blue circles over here. 
Of course, we also want drawing assist turned on again, the symmetry tool, and we are going to change the layer blending mode and we are going to use screen this time. Screen will help make everything a bit lighter. And we are going to focus that light on the lower part of the iris. Let's switch to this color, that lighter blue. And now let's just go over that lower area. Just gently lightening that up. And for some color variation, I also want to do that with this bright pink reddish color. Let's go over that center area. And now let's turn off drawing assist. Let's go to the layer, click it, turn off drawing assist and make the brush a little bit smaller, 2%. And let's add a little bit of a pinkish glow here. And on this side, just to add some interest to these eyes. Now we'll switch to the lighter blue, this fourth color over here. And we are going to add some extra touches, extra spots of light in this lower area. And on this side as well, you can make like a semi-circle over here and some little lines. And now for some final tweaks on these irises, let's create a new layer again. Let's click the plus. Let's set it to clipping mask so we won't be painting outside of that shape. And now let's change our brush. Let's go to the calligraphy brushes and use the script brush. I have the opacity set to 100% and the size is at 17%. And now let's add some highlights. And make sure that you place them on the same sides on each eye. So we'll make the same highlight here on this side, but you can vary it just a little bit. Maybe a highlight over here, a little line, and some nice sparkles. All right, now it's time to add the lashes. Again, we'll create a new layer on top. This time we don't need clipping masks because we will be drawing outside of these eye shapes. But we do want symmetry, so click the layer and turn on Drawing Assist. We will be using a brush from the Free From Flow treasure chest. We will be using the Fine Liner brush. And for the color, we will use this color over here. I have the opacity of the brush set to 100% and the size is at 22%. Now this might be a little bit challenging, but don't give up. You can do it. You can just undo and redo and erase parts because we are on a separate layer. So no worries, you can try as many times as you want. Now let's zoom in a little bit and start here just outside of the eye and draw a line over the eye. And it's handy to rotate your screen because it makes it easier to make these rounded motions. You can rotate it and just go along the eye. You can cover it a little bit and just take your time. You can just pause the video or you can rewind, rewatch. Just take your time following this line. Rotate your screen if needed. Over here we'll cover the eye a little bit. And this is where we will draw the lashes. Make it a bit thicker over here. Now let's rotate the screen again. Now let's make the lash almost going to the outside of the face, as you can see. And you can color this in. Add some extra lashes. If you're having trouble, of course, you can always just make the brush a bit smaller. I'm going to use the eraser now, set to the fine liner as well, to just clean it up a little bit. You can just switch 
between the eraser and the brush to clean the lines up. Make this nice and pointy here. Then I would like an extra line over here. Follow the shape of the eye. And again, you can use the eraser to make it more crisp here. Go along that edge. That way you can make it more pointy. Now let's add some lower lashes. I'll make the brush a little bit smaller for that. Let's go for 8% and let's add three little lashes. Just like that. Next we'll add eyebrows, a nose and a mouth. Let's do that on a layer underneath the lashes. Let's click layer six first and then click the plus for a new layer. And let's turn on drawing assist again. And for the color, we are going to use this color over here. Let's make the brush a bit bigger again. Let's go for 18% and let's draw an eyebrow. Let's start about here and go up like this and then just a little bit above the eye, make an eyebrow shape and make that left side, the side that is near the inside of the eyes, make that a bit thicker and make the eyebrow a bit thinner as you move towards the outside of the face. Then let's create a nose. Let's start about here, in between the eyes, create a cute little nose. And now let's make a kitty-like mouth. We'll start about here and create a semicircle towards the center line. And now let's go ahead and create a neck. Let's make a new layer first by clicking the plus and then let's drag it underneath the head. And let's turn on symmetry by turning on drawing assist. For the color, let's use this color over here. And for the brush, let's go back to the calligraphy brushes and use the monoline brush. Now let's start about here near the center line and then make a neck going down and close the shape. Then drag in the color to fill the shape. Now let's add some clothes. Let's click the plus for a new layer. Let's turn on symmetry again by clicking the layer and turning on drawing assist. And this time for the color, we will use this color over here. That blue that we also use for the eyes. Now let's start about here and make these shoulders. And then go back down and close the shape here. And then we'll start here and make like a triangular shape going down. Now I can see a little issue here. We are missing a part of the neck, but we'll fix that. First, let's fill the shape. And then we can go back to the neck layer, grab that color that we used, and we can just make the shape a little bit bigger here and then fill the shape. All right, now on to the hair. Let's create a layer between the clothing and the head. Let's click the plus. We don't need symmetry, so we don't need to click anything now, but we do need a different color. Let's grab this color over here. And for our brush, let's go and use the script brush. Now we'll start with a swooping motion, starting here and covering the clothing like that. And on this side as well, we'll start about here like that. Then we'll start about here and go down. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll start about here next to the eye. and go like that. I want a pointy shape here. But don't worry, you can adjust it. Let's make a pointy shape here as well. You can take your time, you can undo, redo stuff. Let's start about here and make another swooping motion. And then make sure to close these shapes behind the head before you are able to fill these shapes by dragging in the color. And of course you can adjust it a little bit. 
and you can also use the eraser if you click and hold the eraser it'll switch to the current brush so it'll be the script brush and you can make these these ends a little bit pointier for example just take your time this is a challenging part of the process but no rush so once you got something like this we are going to make a selection. Let's click the layer, use select, and then we'll go to that clothing layer. And we are going to swipe with three fingers to clear that area of the layer. So now we are able to put the clothing on top of the hair without it covering the hair. Because now I actually want to fill that part behind the neck. So let's drag it underneath the neck as well. Click the layer with the hair, then grab the brush. Make sure you close the shape behind and then drag in the color to fill it. Of course, this girl is looking super silly. She wants more hair. Let's give her some more hair. Let's go and make a layer on top of the head. So first click layer one, then click the plus for a new layer. And we are going to add some hair. Now again, this might be a bit challenging, but just don't give up. Now first let's grab a different color. Let's go for this lighter color over here. So we are able to see the difference between this hair and the hair that we are going to draw right now. Let's start here near that center line and make a swooping motion like this. Then make another swooping motion. Let's start about here so we can attach these two parts. And then let's go Cover that top part of the hair like this. Now we can fill the shape. This is already looking better. Now make a swooping motion like this, just along that eyebrow. Another swoop. And then we'll swoop this way. Then we'll start here. And you can actually also hold your pen in place to make these rounded shapes. It makes it a bit easier. Now let's add a little swoosh over here. And you can use the eraser to get rid of these, these parts that are a bit messy. And then you can just fill the shape to fill the hair. Now I can see that the eyebrow here is covering the hair. I want that to be behind the hair. So let's grab this layer eight and drag it underneath the hair. Now let's go ahead and add some shading to the face. Let's go to layer one, click it, and then turn on alpha lock. Now the pixels on this layer are locked and we can only paint on that those pixels that are already there. So that's the face. We won't be able to paint on that checkerboard area. For the brush, let's go to the airbrushing brushes and use the soft brush. Now let's also turn off drawing assist. I don't want symmetry anymore. Let's grab this color over here. Now let's go along the edges of the hair. We can make the brush a little bit bigger actually. Let's go for 4%. Just go along the edge, adding a little shadow. So along this side and here as well, just along the hair. And here as well. And now let's grab this color, this pinkish color. And we'll go along the lower area. We will go along the chin. Add a little bit of color there. And let's go over the cheeks a little bit. Making them a little bit rosy. Just slightly. And you can do the same thing around the nose area and the mouth. Just slightly. Next, let's grab this darkest color over here and make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's go for 2% now. And add an even darker line bit thinner around the edges and 
Now let's do the same thing for the neck. Let's go to the neck layer. Let's click it and turn on Alpha Lock. First, let's go over with the lighter color. Let's make the brush a little bit bigger, 7%. First, we'll lighten it up. And then let's grab this color, that darker color. Make the brush a bit smaller again, 2% and add a little shadow underneath the chin. And you can also add a little shadow here near the clothing. Talking about the clothing, let's add some detail there. Let's go to the layer, let's turn on alpha lock so we won't be able to paint outside of the shape. And for the brush, let's go to the monoline brush. Then we'll grab this lighter blue and let me see, assisted is still turned on. So let's turn that off, we don't need that. And let's make a diagonal line going from this side to that center line. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. Go all the way to here. And then we'll grab that darker blue, this one, that third blue. Now start about here and make a curved line going this way. Then go down and down here as well. And then fill it in like that. You'll need to fill it in by hand since we are on a colored layer. And then you can switch to this color again and you can re remove these sides, making it more crisp. Now let's move on to the hair. First of all, I feel like I want to make it a little bit bigger. Let's go to layer 11 first and let's switch to the script brush again and pick this color. I wanna make it a little bit bigger. I wanna start here and add some volume to the hair. Drag in the color. And just don't worry, you don't have to get it perfect right away. You don't have to get it perfect at all. You can always change things. That's the beauty of drawing digital. Now let's add a little bit here as well. Just some extra volume. If only it was that easy in real life. I wanna add a little bit to this shape as well. And then switch to the eraser and make it more pointy. Now we're going to switch to the fine liner brush again in the free from flow brush pack. And let's add some lines to the hair. We're going to use this color for that and make sure that you turn on alpha lock first so you won't be able to paint or draw outside of the shapes. Let's add some lines over here. Make them a little bit rounded. And you can make some lines over here, make nice flowing motions following that shape of the hair. I'll add a little, like a shadow line over here, following this, this part of the hair, which is flowing in front of the girl. Nice swooping lines over here. Just some hair texture. We'll do the same with this color, that lighter color, and we'll add some lighter lines. For instance, here on that part that's covering the girl.
You gotta make sure that you follow that flow of the hair. Always follow, follow, flow, follow the flow. And just some lines over here. Not too many, just a few. I think this is good. All right, now we are going to make a layer on top. We'll click the plus for a new layer and we are going to set it to clipping mask. So whatever we paint here, it'll only show up on that hair. And we are going to set this layer to multiply. So we are going to use it to add some shadow. We'll use the soft brush for that under airbrushing. And let's use this color over here. Let's make the brush a little bit bigger. Let's go for 10%. And let's darken this area behind the neck because there will be some shadow. And we can darken this area a little bit, the outsides, the undersides. We mainly just want some variation in color and in value. This will make the hair look more interesting. Let's make another layer on top. Let's click the plus again. Turn on clipping mask and this time we will set it to screen. And for the color, we are going to use this pink. Now let's glaze over the hair and add this nice pinkish glow. Just don't go over that, that area in the back where we want a shadow. And this is also nicely merging those lines with the hair. This is great. Now let's move on to the other hair on top. I actually want to add a little bit of hair there as well. Let's go to layer 12. Let's pick this color. And let's go to the script brush again. And let's add a little bit of hair here. And a little bit on this side. Instant volume and use the eraser to make it more crisp. Now for the top part of the hair, uh, let's start with the lines again. Let's click the layer, turn on alpha lock so we won't be able to paint outside of the shape. And let's use the fine liner brush again in the brush pack that you can get through free from flow. Let's first Go ahead and use the darker color. And let's follow the flow of the hair again. Let's follow the shape here. Make some curved lines. Sometimes it's easier when you make longer swooping motions. And remember the undo option is your friend. Of course, you can always undo. Don't worry too much. Let's make a line here to the top. And then we'll follow these shapes. Start here and make a swooping motion up like this. And here as well. And over here and start here near the center and make these curved lines make this one a little bit thicker this way we are separating these strands of hair just like with this one we want it to be separate from the rest I make some lines a little bit thicker, some a little bit thinner. And then we'll switch to the lighter color again, this one. And let's add some lighter lines as well. Some lines here.
some lines on this one. And over here. I think this is looking good. Now again, let's make a new layer on top. Let's click the plus and let's use clipping mask. Now again, let's set this layer to multiply and let's switch back to the soft brush under airbrushing. Then let's pick, let's pick this pink. And let's go over the top area, darkening that up a little bit. And let's do the same here on the undersides. And again, this is mostly to add some interest, add some color variation. And then let's do the same thing again with a screen layer. So let's click the plus for a new layer, click it, use clipping mask, and then set this layer to screen. And now let's go over this area and a center, adding a lighter glow there. Next, we'll make even brighter highlights on the hair. Let's click the plus for a new layer. And for the brush, we will use the fine liner brush again. And for the color, we will use this lightest color. We are going to add some very bright highlight areas. And I'm making these short strokes to do that. And I'll make some a little bit longer and some shorter. So I'll vary them up. Some over here and I'm following this line on the hair. I'm not going crisscross. Let's add some over here and then right next to it on this strand. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Let's start here. So I'm making short and long strokes. Also following that flow of the hair a bit. And let's add some shine over here. And then on the hair below. We can add some shine here. Just don't overdo it. Just a couple of strands with shine. And over here. And over here. I think that's enough shine. Now we can blur it a little bit by going to the magic wand, clicking Gaussian blur, setting it to layer, and then drag your pen to the right. And let's set it to two and a half percent and then just click the magic wand again. Now, if at any time you are having issues with the amount of layers, then of course you can merge some layers like the eye layers, for instance, you can merge these no harm will be done. And the same goes for these hair layers in the back. You can merge them as well. And these hair layers on top. But for as long as you can create new layers, there's no need of doing this, of course, because it's always great to be able to go back to your layers if you want to fix anything. Now let's go and create some ears. We are going to create the ears on a layer that is at least behind the hair. That's the most important part. But you can, you can place it all the way at the bottom or you can just click the layer underneath the hair and then click the plus for a new layer. We are going to use symmetry again. So click the layer and turn on drawing assist. And for the brush, let's stick with the fine liner. And for the color, we are going to use this color over here, that pink. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's start about here a little bit to the right from the center. And let's draw an ear shape. We'll go up like this, then add some points here. And then make a curved line going down. And then add some more of these points here. These pointies. Then close the shape behind. And then drag in the color to fill your shape. You might need to adjust the color drop threshold by dragging to the left or right. And you might need to adjust some parts 
to clean it up a little bit. Next, we will make a new layer on top of these ears by clicking the plus and we are going to use Clipping Mask. Turn on Clipping Mask and switch to this color over here, that second pink color. Now, we shouldn't forget to turn on Drawing Assist as well because we need that symmetry. Click the layer, turn on Drawing Assist and then start about here. Make a curved line down, add some of these little spikes and close the shape and then drag in the color to fill it. Now in two easy steps we have already have some nice ears over here but let's add a little extra touch. Let's first go to layer 10, click it, turn on alpha lock and go to the soft brush under airbrushing and we'll use this lighter pink. And now let's go over the outer edge adding a little light. Then switch to the smudge tool, that's the little finger here, and in the treasure chest brush pack you'll find the smudgy hairbrush. Use that, set the opacity to 75% and the size to 18%. And then just drag from the outside to the inside and from the inside to the outside. You can do it both ways to add this hairy texture. We'll do the same thing for the other part of the ear. So let's go to layer 11, click it, turn on alpha lock, then use the soft brush again, but this time with this color, that light color, and then lighten up this part near the base of the ear. And then use the smudge tool again and smudge that light part onto the pink part following the shape of the ear. Just like that. Now we are almost there. I just want to add some outlines to our drawing. Now this is probably not the normal way of doing things. Usually you would start with line art and then color it. But this is a you can draw this video tutorial. We do things our own way. Let's create a new layer on top of the others, but underneath the eyelashes. Let's click the plus. For the brush, we are going to use the fine liner brush. And for the color, we will use this color over here. The opacity is at 100% and the size is at 22%. And now we are just going to follow the outlines and add an extra touch to our drawing. You can zoom in, of course. Just take your time. But like I said, this is not the regular way of creating something like this. But usually you can draw this isn't the regular way of creating. It's, it's a you can draw this type of way. Of course, before I create a you can draw this video, there is a lot of preparation. I make sketches, I practice, and then it's time to create the you can draw this video all broken down into easy steps. Now, since we are on a separate layer, it's very easy to adjust things. You can always erase parts. Like for instance, I have dropped something here. You can just erase parts, redo stuff. Don't worry. And making clean lines, it can take some practice, of course. Don't worry. Just take your time and enjoy the process. You don't have to think a lot while creating these lines. You just need to follow your shapes. And zoom in on your drawing, just not too much. So you can make nice swooping motions. Sometimes it's a bit easier to be a little bit zoomed out than being zoomed in too much. Now 
Now, of course, if you want to learn more about the whole process of sketching and want to learn more about digital art in Procreate in general, then you might want to check out my Patreon page. There I share a lot more video tutorials and I also share sketching classes and classes about painting fundamentals. Let's start here at the base of the hair. It's no problem that she's upside down. Just place the drawing in the direction that's handy for you. Now let me just speed this process up so you can see the finished result with the lines. There we have all the lines. Now for some final touches, I would like to add a glow around our character and some cute paws on the background. Now what I like to do is group all of these layers by dragging to the right on them. So we can select every layer and then group. Now I'm going to duplicate this group. Now that might not be possible for you if you are having limitations on your iPad. What you could do then is just flatten the entire group and then duplicate it. So click the layer and then click flatten. But to save your process, to save all your layers, I would advise you to go to the gallery and duplicate your entire canvas before doing this. So I'm just going to duplicate the entire group and then I'll go to the lower group and flatten that one. Now, as you can see, alpha lock is turned on on this layer. You can see that checkerboard pattern around the character. Now I'm going to grab this color, that nice pink reddish color, then go back to the layer menu, click the layer and select fill layer. Now this layer is filled entirely with that color. Now let's turn off alpha lock and let's go to the magic wand and pick Gaussian blur. Set it to layer and drag your pen to the right. And now you can add this nice glow around your character. Let's go for 14.5% and then click the magic wand again. Now finally, I want to add some paws to the background. Let's click the plus for a new layer. Let's go and grab the soft brush under airbrushing and let's pick this pink color. Let's set the opacity to 100% and let's set the size to 3%. And let's make some circles with some small circles around them just for to create these cute little paws. And a circle up here. And let's create one over here. Now finally, don't forget to get rid of that line in the middle. Go to the wrench, then to canvas and turn off the drawing guide. So you are able to check your result. Well done. This might just be the longest you can draw this video tutorial I have ever made and you have made it till the end. Please let me know if you have enjoyed this tutorial. I would love to hear it. So go ahead and leave a comment and let me know if you would like to see more tutorials like this one. I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you next time for the next you can draw this video tutorial.